So unless you live under a rock, you've probably heard about the assassination attempt on Trump, which occurred just a few days ago on July 13th in Pennsylvania at one of his rallies. And praise God that the bullet did not hit Trump's head, that it literally grazed his ear from what I could tell from the images and the videos that I've seen. But I want to talk about this shot heard around the world. Because the Lord reminded me this weekend, actually the day that my husband and I found out about this assassination attempt, the Lord reminded me of a word that I had shared back in July of 2022 on this channel. So I went back and I re-listened to that word and I actually posted it on July 27th of 2022. So almost exactly two years ago. And I had actually received this word from the Lord, a prophetic word, back on May 14th of 2021. And so several years ago, the Lord gave me a word basically titled, The Shot Heard Round the World. And so I'm going to play a clip from that video here in just a moment. But I want you to listen to this word. And as a reminder, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9 tells us that we prophesy in part. And so it says, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. And then it goes on in verse 10 to say, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. And so what I want to do here is kind of piece together this prophetic word and how it may tie into what's going on today. So take a listen to this word. So on this particular day, May 14th of 2021, he said, a sonic boom, a shot heard around the world, a 9-11 sized event is coming. Not that it would look like 9-11, but it was that this event would be known around the world. And I like to write down definitions of certain words that he gives me and just kind of dig a little bit deeper. So a sonic boom is a sound associated with shock waves created when an object travels through the air faster than the speed of sound. They generate enormous amounts of sound energy. They sound similar to an explosion or thunder. And I remember hearing probably back in high school about the shot heard around the world, but I had to do some research on that as well because I just didn't remember off the top of my head where that phrase actually came from. It's a phrase that refers to the opening shot of the Battle of Lexington and Concord on April 19th, 1775. And this began the American Revolutionary War, which led to the creation of the United States. It can also mean a phrase used to refer to extraordinary events in general. You know, obviously in this word he's saying there's going to be another event that happens that just like 9-11 where everyone in the world heard about that tragic event. This will also be an event of that size scale. And he's not saying that it's going to be the same type of event, but it, there's going to be a shot heard around the world. And I believe very soon that will literally be heard on a global scale. And as far as the specifics on this, I don't fully know that, but I am just being obedient today and sharing this word ahead of time. And so as I re-listen to that word, that I shared almost two years ago now, this is what really stuck out to me. The word said, not that it would look like 9-11, but that this event would be known around the world. And so when we're given a prophetic word, when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, the Lord gives us warning. He gives us instruction. He also uses prophetic words for encouragement. But in this case, he wasn't saying that it would be, say, another 9-11 attack of that nature, but really more specifically that this would be an event that would be known around the world. And so the reason I'm sharing this is because there was two different headlines that I came across in the past few days. And this is why I believe this word that the Lord gave me back in May of 21 Really, this is the fulfillment of that word. So I'm just going to share a couple headlines with you guys and I'll, I'll try to paste the, 
the picture of the article here. So on July 14th of 24, NBC, shots heard around the world. Global leaders react to Trump assassination attempt. And then another one, and this one was actually before the, the shooting on the 13th. This was actually a headline from July 9th of 2024. And it said, and this is from CNN, shot heard around the world, musket balls recovered from site of famous first day revolutionary war battle. So here you have just a few days before July 13th, Trump's rally, you have on the 9th that these these musket balls from the Revolutionary War were, were found. And that is just unbelievable. You can go out on the internet and search that out for yourself, but that is literally the headline that it read, shot heard around the world, musket balls recovered. And then on the 13th, you have the, the shooting attempt, at Trump. And then on the 14th, NBC, shots heard around the world. Global leaders react to Trump assassination attempt. So as I looked back at the video that I shared almost two years ago to the day, back in July of 2022, and I came across these headlines, I was really just amazed and floored in a way. Not because I'm surprised of, of the Lord speaking to us or him sharing things with us through the Holy Spirit. But just the fact that he gives us warning of events, of things to come. And just like the Bible says, we may not know all the details. We prophesy in part, but we need to be open to the prophetic. We need to have that time with the Lord where we could hear his voice clearly, where we could ask him for direction and also be obedient into stewarding those words where we are writing those things down that he shares with us because just like this i could go back to my journal from may of 21 and read this prophetic word and here we are in july of 2024 and we have this shot heard around the world and we have these headlines these musket balls that were found and you could say to yourself oh well that's no big deal who knows if it really relates to one another if these events even even align but i'm telling you when i heard about the the attempt on trump the lord immediately prompted my spirit of this prophetic word so i believe we are moving into a time where we see a completion on some events where some words that have been spoken even several years ago will start to come to pass because sometimes when we get a prophetic word it doesn't happen that day. It may not even happen that year, and it might. But sometimes, especially when the Lord seems to give me things of this nature, they tend to happen several years after the fact. And it builds my faith because I know that I'm hearing the Holy Spirit correctly because we're human at the end of the day. But yet as a born again believer, I believe in the gift of prophecy. I believe in the prophetic. I believe that although there is a lot of prophetic mixture out there in the world, and quite honestly, the prophetic movement has been compromised to some degree, but there are voices out there, people that truly hear from the Holy Spirit and that are hooked up and linked in with God that are following him with all of their hearts. And those are the voices that, that you should listen to if you feel led. But as I've said before on this channel, we're not to listen to every voice out there. We need to test what they're saying by the word of God. We need to have discernment to know what is true, what is false. And that all comes from our relationship with God really sharing this as a word of encouragement that not only can I hear from God, hear from the Holy Spirit, that he will show us and warn us of things to come and things to prepare for, but that you can do the same. If you get away and attune your ear to the heart of God, to what is he really saying in this time, in this moment, he will speak to you. So I encourage you to get a journal and to spend time alone with him and to write and don't doubt what you're hearing because the Lord knows 
a humble heart. He knows a hungry heart that, that wants to hear from him. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I just, I still feel somewhat stunned from over the weekend with this, this, this um, event that happened with Trump. But at the end of the day, God is in control. I believe God spared Trump's life for a reason. And we need to be praying for America. We need to be praying for the nations around the world. Ultimately, we need to be praying for revival, for a move of God, for the unsaved to come to know the Lord. And that even things like this, where prophetic words, where things were spoken and given by the power of the Holy Spirit years in advance, that people's hearts and minds would be open to the gospel to see that the Bible is real, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he came and he gave his life for every single one of us. And so that is truly my prayer. That is the reason for this channel, for people's lives to be changed. And this world so desperately needs love. It needs salvation. It needs God. And so pray for America, pray for your nation, wherever you're watching from, and share this with somebody who needs to hear this today. I hope you guys have a great week. I'm about to go off to my cleaning job for the day, but I just wanted to jump on and share this word, word with you guys. So God bless, and until next time, we'll see ya.